I love smoothies because they're a quick and easy way to pack in a lot of nutrition. And so today I'm going to share my favorite easy green smoothie that doesn't taste like grass. Raise your hands if you've had a green smoothie that really tasted like a green smoothie, if you know what I mean. Today the recipe I'm gonna share is not only really simple, but it's also really delicious. It only uses a few ingredients, and so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about the ingredients you'll need. You'll need some almonds milk, some orange juice, and for the green component of our smoothie, we are going to use some organic spinach. I like using spinach in green smoothies because I find that it has a really mild flavor. You don't really notice it that much, whereas some other greens can be more potent and really change the taste and texture of your smoothie. I think spinach blends wonderfully and it really doesn't change the taste too terribly much, and so you're still gonna get the wonderful flavors of our other ingredients. And so for our other ingredients, we're going to use some frozen pineapple, frozen mango, and optionally, you can use half a frozen banana. I just throw this in when I have it on hand. Sometimes my daughter only wants to eat half of a banana, so I'll just throw the other half in the freezer and pop it in a smoothie when I have a chance. And I also like to put some avocado in my green smoothies. Avocados are great for you. They have some really nutritious, healthy fats, and so I find that that helps keep me satiated longer, and I like the creamy consistency that it gives to my smoothies. And so if you're using a small avocado, I would say to use half and if you're using a large avocado you probably want to use about a quarter you can increase that if you want to but I find if you put too much it does start to change the taste it also does contribute to that beautiful green color that we're going after and you can stop your smoothie here or you can add some protein or other supplements like I like to do my favorite protein to use is hemp protein hemp protein has all of the essential amino acids that you need it's considered a perfect protein so it's really good for you I find it's super easy to digest. I just use about half of the serving suggestion because otherwise I feel that it does make the smoothie a little too hempy. So um, a serving has 15 grams of protein, so I'm getting about seven and a half grams instead. But then I also like to put in a scoop of collagen peptides. That not only increases the amount of protein in the smoothie, but you also get all the wonderful benefits that come along with consuming collagen. So that's what I like to add to my green smoothie, but feel free to add chia seeds or flaxseed or whatever things you like to use in your your smoothies. The green smoothie I'm going to make today is going to be roughly 32 ounces. I like to drink the whole thing, but you can definitely split it up into two 16 ounce servings. So I like to start by adding my hemp protein and my collagen into the blender, and then I will add my liquids. I do about 14 ounces or so of the almond milk. I just look at the measurements directly on my blender, that way I don't have to use any other cups or anything. And then I fill it up to the 20 ounce line with the orange juice. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a big handful of spinach. I don't measure any of the produce that I'm adding in. I just kind of eyeball it because A, I don't want to do dishes, and B, I don't really find it necessary. You can kind of do things to your taste. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my quarter of avocado because I'm using a large avocado today. Add in my pineapple and mango and half my frozen banana. And of course, we just put the lid on and blend. I like to start on the crushed ice setting on my blender and then move to the liquify setting to finish things up and make sure everything's really well blended. I have a KitchenAid diamond blender and I absolutely love it. I use my blender every single day and I don't have a lot of cupboard space so it just makes sense for me to keep it out on the counter but because of that I love that the kitchen diamond is not only super functional but it's really cute. I love the color that I picked out. It goes great in my kitchen and they also have all sorts of colors to choose from so I'll leave it linked down in the description if you're interested in checking it out if you're in the need for a blender because I love mine. But once everything is blended you just pour it and you're good to go. make this delicious and easy green smoothie. I like putting my smoothies in this big cup. It's by Built because it keeps it cold for a really long time, but these cups are really reasonably priced. So I'll leave it linked down below as well as the blender and the hemp protein and collagen peptides if you're interested in purchasing those and wanna know where to find them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this green smoothie recipe. It is one of my favorites. I go to it multiple times a week. But give me a thumbs up if you're excited to try this smoothie. If you do make it, let me know in the
know in the comments if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you stick around. I post videos about health and wellness and mindful living, and I would love to have you part of the community. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Until next time, cheers. Ha, ha, ha.